Working with optionals can feel a bit clumsy sometimes, and all the unwrapping and checking you become so onerous that you might be tempted to throw some exclamation marks in there to force unwrap stuff so you can get your work done. Be careful though, if you force unwrap an optional that doesn't have a value, your code will crash. Swift has two techniques to help make your code less complicated. The first is called optional chaining, which lets you run code only if your optional has a value. We'll try it out here. We'll say func album released in a year integer returns an optional string. Inside there, we'll say switch year, oops, switch year, case 2006, we will return Taylor Swift. Case 2008, we will return Fearless, and so on for all her albums. But for the default case for any other year, we will return nil. Then end the switch, then end the function. I'm going to call that by saying let album equals album released in the year 2006. And we'll print out uh, the album is string interpolation album. That will output the album is optional Taylor Swift into our results pane. If you want to convert the value of album released, the value you got back from it, to be uppercase letters, that is Taylor Swift, all uppercase letters rather than Taylor Swift with capital T, capital S, we could use the uppercase method of that string. For example, we could say, let stir equals hello world, print stir dot uppercase. The problem is album released returns an optional string. It might return a string or it might return nothing at all. So what we really mean is if we got back a string, make it uppercase, otherwise do nothing. And that's where optional chaining comes in because it provides exactly that behavior. Let's try and change this code at the end here. That album equals album released year 2006, question mark at the end, dot uppercase. Note that extra question mark, which is where optional chaining happens. Everything after the question mark will only be run if everything before the question mark has a value. So you can now see it prints out the album is optional Taylor Swift in capital letters. Now this doesn't affect the underlying data type of album because that line of code will now either return nil or will return the uppercase album name. It's still an optional string. Your optional chains can be as long as you want. For example, we could say uh, album released dot uh, some optional value dot some other optional value and so forth. Other optional value dot whatever. And that's all fine as long as they actually exist in your type, of course. So we'll check them from left to right until it finds nil, at which point it stops. The nil coalescing operator is a simple Swift feature that makes your code much simpler and safer, and yet has such a grandiose name that many people are scared of it. This is a shame because the nil coalescing operator will make your life easier if you take the time to figure it out. What it does is let you say use value A if you can, but if value A is nil, then use value B, and that's it. It's particularly helpful with optionals because it effectively stops them from being optional because you provide a non-optional value B. So if A is optional and has a value, it gets used. We have a value. If A is present and has no value, i.e. is nil, then B gets used. So we still have a value. Either way, we definitely have a value. To give you some context, let's try some code in our playground. We'll say let album equals album released year 2006, question mark, question mark, unknown. And then print. The album is string interpolation album. That double question mark is the nil coalescing operator. And in this situation, it means if album release returned a value, then put it into the album constant. But if album release returned nil, then use unknown instead. If you look in the results pane now, you'll see the album is Taylor Swift printed in there. No more optionals. This is because Swift can now be sure it will get a real value back, either because the function returned one or because you're providing unknown. This in turn means you don't need to unwrap anything or risk crashes. 
you're guaranteed to have real data to work with, which makes your code safer and easier.